Axe Murders. Number 10, The Mudgy Tragedy. No one could believe it. Why would a retired police constable living in Mudgy, New South Wales, murder his wife and infant child? At first, when the news broke, some newspapers were inclined to believe that there was a mistake. It had to be a lie, but it wasn't. In September of 1898, John McCoy snapped, grabbed an axe, and battered the brains out of his wife and child. Neighbors knew that the marriage was tense and that McCoy was often very cruel to his wife. Mrs. McCoy had often hinted that she was afraid John would one day murder her. But no one stepped in to help because they did not believe that McCoy would go that far. So on the morning of the murder, screams were heard coming from their home. A young man ran over and witnessed McCoy strike his wife with an axe. The man took off and ran to the police station. The police arrived to a grisly scene. There were pools of blood, clots of brains, and murdered bodies of the woman and the small child. The infant had her head chopped open from the back. The wife had been hacked with an axe multiple times. The back of her head was split open and her brains were on the floor. McCoy was caught trying to clean himself off with a bucket of water and his three sons were safely nearby. In the inquest, McCoy claimed that his late wife was the abuser, despite witnesses claiming that he was the aggressor in the relationship. He, re he refused to pay for the interment of his wife and his infant daughter. At trial, he was found guilty of murder and sentenced to be hanged. 